I'm Donnie Looper, a practicing endodontist from North Carolina. We know what the canal system looks like from seeing three-dimensional computer models. There are isthmuses, fins, and lateral canals. And we know that if they are not cleaned out, they harbor all kinds of bacteria and their byproducts. If we desire to get a complete three-dimensional obturation, we must first get a good three-dimensional cleaning of the canals. This is why I believe irrigation is the most important step in endodontics. I use Q-Mix as my final irrigation step, and I like to apply the endoactivator to hydrodynamically attack the smear layer and the biofilm. It helps the irrigating solution get into the fins and isthmuses and debride and disinfect the canal. Take a look at how this powerful combination prepares the way for a three-dimensional obturation of the root canal system. Even the most trusted, time-tested irrigants must physically contact bacteria in order to kill it. Traditional irrigants cannot flow into tubules, lateral canals, or isthmuses if they are plugged by the bacteria harboring smear layer. If your irrigation solution cannot flow into these blocked areas, your filling material will never reach them either, and the bacteria will remain. Use of the endo activator vigorously energizes and creates a constant exchange of irrigants throughout the canal. This hydrodynamic phenomena of activated fluids promotes deep cleaning and disinfection into lateral canals, fins, webs, and anastomosis. While bleach is still a vital element of the irrigation process, it cannot remove the smear layer. Using Q-Mix as a final rinse after bleach effectively removes the smear layer, disinfects the root canal system, opens plugged dentinal tubules, and prepares the root canal system to receive the obturation material. With a complete clean, gutta core is free to flow into dentinal tubules, isthmuses, and lateral canals.